Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Um, I am down at the Sea Bluff Beach where we had our uh, press conference earlier today to announce that the state mm -hmm. confirmed that they will be providing us with the $3.9 million that um, we are going to use to reconstruct our tide gates. And I'm gonna flip this around while I talk. So the critical component of this project is, if you could see, um, what the tide gates are is the Cove River, which is a river that flows through West Haven, empties out into the ocean. And the tide gates, or the floodgates, controls that flow. So these tide gates that you're looking at were built in the early 1900s and were actually shut down in the 70s because they were crumbling, as you can see, and they were not working. Also, this pedestrian bridge was shut down about 20, 25 years ago because it was unsafe. I'm going to walk and talk while I talk about the project. So, um, so this project, so the tide gates are going to be self-regulated tide gates. These are going to be removed, the tide gates that we have now, and rebuilt. So what it's going to allow us to do is um, regulate the flow of water almost to the inch. So what happens is when there is a great storm and there's a high tide, the water is flowing into the city faster than it's flowing out. And that's what causes all of the um, flooding along, along the Cove River. So that's Platt Avenue, that's behind Stiles or in front of Stiles. That's also our high school. We're building a brand new high school for a lot of money and it's uh, in jeopardy of a flood zone. And I'm gonna flip this around so you can see the newer floodgates while I talk. Um, so this project is a part of our coastal resiliency plan. All cities that are on the shoreline have developed a, co a coastal resiliency plan to address the rising sea level. And um, West Haven is being very proactive in not only reconstructing the tide gates, but we're going to elevate them 8 to 10 feet. So if you can see, those are the newer, <laughs> if you want to call them newer, tide gates. Uh, they're wooden, they're old, and they're really not functioning as well as we would like them to function. So this is going to be a new infrastructure for our flow of water, but also it's going to have some really great environmental and ecological value because across Ocean Avenue, so this is Ocean Avenue, across Ocean Avenue where the marshes are, where the high school is, um, it, it, it just hasn't had the, great, the right vegetation, the right sea life, and the right um, birds and plants because it doesn't have the right level of seawater um, and it doesn't have the right timing of the seawater. So this is going to help with all of that. Um, and then the icing on the cake is that there's going to be a brand new pedestrian bridge that's going to be built and it's going to connect this area which is where the Charlotte um, Bacon Playground is over to the Veterans Memorial. So right now you can't get from there to there without going through Ocean Avenue. So when the pedestrian bridge is completed, you'll be able to park here and you'll be able to start your walk your, you know, to Bradley Point here. It's just gonna be another extension of our great walkway. So our shoreline is our greatest asset. It's our pride and joy. And this is just gonna be another way to um, extend our recreational value, not only for our residents, but for the thousands of residents in the region that come here. So, um, I want to recognize uh, one person in particular, Mark Payne, who is the Assistant Public Facilities Director, and he has been pulling and advocating for this project for a very long time, and it's been in the queue up at the state. Um, and myself and my fellow legislators, we uh, just kind of pushed it over the edge by requesting the funding, which is key. So I want to thank him for his knowledge and working with the consultants and um, coming up with the conceptual design. It's going to be really critical. Um, one other thing is I'm looking at Platte Avenue. I'm thinking uh, some residents in this area might experience um, an odor sometimes. Uh, that is not a sewer smell. Um, that is actually from the sulfur behind the marshes. So this project should help with that as well. So it's just another added benefit. Um, so I think the mayor was down here. Um, our uh, high school, uh, Mr. Dixon was down here. He has students that help with uh, water evaluation. Um, we had uh, we had a lot of folks come down here from the city that were part of this project. And uh, thank you to the prior administration for um, we put this in the queue back then. 
um, and to certainly our current mayor Rossi for um, being so supportive of this project. So thank you to everybody. This project should start as soon as we have the funding in hand. There should be no inconvenience to Ocean Avenue during the summer. I know that's key. And um, it will be completed by next year. So we're really happy. We'll be shooting for more projects for West Haven. Um, and I'm really proud of the work that we've, we've done here to help um, augment our value down here at the ocean. So thank you very much. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you.